Hey, what's up? Today I'm going to be giving a review for the horror film The Boy. Now this was a... Uh, I was kind of skeptical about seeing this film, you know, because I wasn't like, you know... I mean, it was kind of cool and kind of interesting, you know, but at the same time, I wasn't like... I didn't really anticipate seeing this film at all, basically. But I just decided to give it like a try, you know, like, why not just give it a shot, you know, because it looked kind of cool, you know. So I just decided to give it a, a shot, you know. Well, like, this film is about, like, a, uh, it has some surprises in it, too. Well, you know, it's kind of typical. They kind of had these kind of, like, surprises, like, in other films, too, as, as well, you know. But there are, there are, but I'm not going to spoil it, you know, but some of, like, the surprises they had in it were kind of cool, you know, like, towards, like, you know, like, in the end, you know, basically, but I'm not going to spoil the film for people, you know. Well, the film is about, like, this, um, this nanny known as, uh, well, she becomes a nanny, basically, you know, she kind of, she kind of kind of gives more of her background throughout the film as the film goes on you get to learn more about like the main like uh, character of the film known as uh, Greta and she's played by um, a Lauren Cohan that's who plays uh, Greta well Greta's taking like a job as like a I think it's a temporary job she's like from America too like Montana but she travels to like Europe you know to like uh, babysit like these uh, this, this elderly couple's like son supposedly known as Brahms so she travels to like Europe or whatever to like to babysit and be like the nanny for them, right? But once she gets there, you know, to see the family, you know, they they are like an elderly couple, it's like a man and a woman, you know. And they, they they talk about how they want her like to take care of the house very well, and they also want her to take care of their son very well, too, known as Brahms. So eventually, you know, she gets like Greta gets to see who Brahms is and she's kinda like shocked, you know, like that he's not like an actual like living like like, you know, person, like boy or whatever, it's actually like a doll, you know. That they have made up, you know, which is kind of cool. It's a cool looking doll, too, you know. So it turns out, you know, and, and you can kind of tell from Red Dam once she is introduced to Brahms, you know, you kind of get a whiff of like what's going on with the family, you know, and they even seem kind of odd themselves, you know, because they want her to like to feed Brahm, like read him like stories, put him to bed at certain times, you know, wake him up at certain times, you know, and they don't want her to leave him at leave him alone at all, you know, so it's kind of like, you know, you could tell that there was something kind of like off about the family themselves, like they're kind of like, you know, there might be something wrong, like like a mental disorder or something, you know. So basically, that's what the film is about. She's like here in like Europe, and uh, she's she's babysitting <laughs> a doll, basically known as Brahms, you know. So I, you know, so as the film goes on, like things begin to happen, you know. Once like the early couple leaves, you know, they leave like and go on their little journey, you know. And some happens with them too as well, but I'm not gonna spoil the film, you know. But uh, she begins to take care of like Brahms, and then like certain like uh, creepy things start to happen around the house, you know. And she can't, she can't, she begins to wonder, you know, like, whoa, is it like a ghost or like a, like an evil spirit or something like that, you know, and stuff like that, you know. But she doesn't know, you know, but as the film goes on, you know, they're saying that like, those kind of things go on and on. And there's also like this other guy too in the film as well that, that's with her and he's played by, um, yeah, Rupert Evans. He plays like the guy that's like there trying to help her and stuff. He, he's kind of helping her look after the house, but he's not really there, you know. He just knows like the couple, I believe, and he like brings stuff and all that because he's the one who's bringing her weekly paychecks too as well, you know, as she's looking after Brahms, you know. But yeah, uh, like things begin to happen, you know, that seem kind of almost like, uh, but she begins to suspect that there's somebody else in the house anyway, you know, because things begin to happen like Brahm, he'll move like, not, well, he doesn't really move or anything like that, but like, she like if he was in a certain position, you know, and these kind of faint, you know, she'll come back and he's like in a different position and stuff like that. Or like clothes like be like thrown around and stuff like that, you know, whatever. But I don't want to spoil, you know, because it's like a big surprise and you know, <laughs> which was kinda of cool. I thought it was awesome, you know. I thought I, I thought that tied it up kinda of well, you know, they, they did that. And you and, and what well, what well, like the spoiler of it, I'm not gonna spoil it. You kinda of seen this kind of stuff like in other films too as well, you know. But and I thought this was a... Um, I I I, th I thought it was a a, a a a decent film, you know. I'm trying. I want to be kind of honest about my review or whatever, because it wasn't like a bad film. But at the same time, it was like like uh, it was like a, a cool film, you know. But at the same time, it was like things in it, you know. They just just you know like how could they accept or allow something like this to happen, you know? You could tell you just like kind of rushed it, basically, you know. But it had like a um. Like the feeling like the, the house being so big and, and anybody can be in there and stuff like that. That was kind of creepy, you know. Plus you had like this doll, you know, which looked kind of eerie and creepy too as well, you know. But he's still cool, you know. Plus like other things that the character, like Greta herself, I thought she was kind of like interesting. Kind of like humorous too, you know, for like the, the character that she played. I mean, with the Greta character, I thought she was kind of like humorous and stuff too as well, you know. Kind of almost funny, you know. 
to a certain extent, but like things that were going on, you know, how could she allow this or how could she accept that this would happen, you know, so easily, you know, like whether it's like a supernatural thing or, or is it just like a normal thing, you know. But yeah, uh, I think uh, in the end, you know, I, I think I would give this film like a, um, I'm trying to decide should I give like a B minus or a C, you know, I think I'm going to go ahead and go with like a C though, you know, I thought it was okay and it was cool, you know, it had like, you know, Little cool moments to it, you know, but it's just still like certain things that was just keeping it from being completely good, you know, like just certain things you really couldn't like accept, you know, like no, nah, there's no way you can, <laughs> you could just go on or you could tell like the way like it was written or like the scripture or like you know just like it, it, it uh, it could, that that couldn't have to work, you know, that worked that well, you know, like that. But I thought this is like a, I give it a C, and this is my review for like the boy, and this is like a horror film, you know, and it's also directed by uh, William Brent Bell. And, I, and I, if I'm not mistaken, I, I, I don't know if, was, if if there was like other versions of this film or not. You know, I'm not mistaken. You know, but yeah, that, that's my review for. But oh yeah, like another thing too, too as well. You know, like the uh, the actual like uh like story itself, like Brahms himself. But I don't, I don't really want to spoil. It. You know, he did have like a little backstory to the actual boy that really was Brahms. It was real. He was supposed to like you know. If I go into all that, it'll kind of spoil the film. You know, that's why I don't want to touch on it too much. But yeah, this is my review for the boy, and I'm giving it a, a C. All right. <laughs>